Welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have written the properties and in this video, we are going to configure Spring and Hibernate. So let's get started. There are two ways to configure Spring and Hibernate. One is XML configuration and second one is Java configuration. The XML configuration is a traditional way of configuring Spring and Hibernate. We will create an XML file and we will create a bunch of bean tags and we will configure Spring and Hibernate. But now people are using a Java configuration because it is a way simpler than XML configuration. We don't have to write too much of code in Java configuration. We just have to use annotations. So in this video series, we are going to use Java configuration instead of XML configuration. But if you are looking for XML configuration under this video in the description section, I'll provide a link to the XML configuration link as well. You can go ahead and check out the XML configuration as well. So for now, let's concentrate on Java configuration. So inside the configuration package, we're going to create three classes. Let's create one by one. So the first class that we're going to create is app config. So right click on the package and choose new and select the class. I'm going to call this app config. Click finish. I'm going to annotate this with add configuration. We have to tell spring container that this is a configuration file Add configuration. And we have to tell Spring Container that where the property file is located. I'm going to use add property source. And we have to tell where the property file is located. In our case, the property file is located in the class path. Class path colon db dot properties, which is our property file name. And I'm going to enable the transaction management at enable transaction management and we have to tell spring container that which are all the packages we need to scan if we need to scan more than one packages then we have to use add component scans value this will take an array so inside the curly braces at component scan anytime if you want to scan one package then you need to use add component scan within the parenthesis com dot bushan sirigur dot spring dot dao and we need to scan service package as well so i'm going to copy this and i'll change this to service all right, we have annotated this with the add configuration. This will tell Spring Container that this is a configuration file. Add property source. We need to tell Spring Container that where the property file is located. Add enable transaction management. We have to enable the transaction. Add component scans. We have to tell Spring Container that which are all the packages we need to scan. Inside the app config, we are going to create two bins. One is local session factory bin and another one is hybrid transaction manager. Inside the local session factory bin, we will read the properties from the property file and we will set the properties to the local session factory bean and we will return the local session factory bean. In the hybrid transaction manager, we are going to set the session factory. So let's create those two beans. I'm going to create some white space. Public local session factory bean, which is a return type. I'm going to call this get session factory. I'm going to annotate this with add bean. Make sure this local session factory bean, which is from Hibernate 5. If you imported from Hibernate 3, then Eclipse will show that the method has been deprecated. So change this to Hibernate 5 because we are using a Hibernate 5. Inside this, I'm going to create a local session factory bean object. Local session factory bean, I'm gonna call this factory bean. And I'm going to create a properties object, which is from java.util package. I'm gonna call this props. I'll write a comments that we are setting the JDBC properties. props.put this will take two arguments one is name and value 
the value we are going to read from the property file so to read a property file we need an environment variable up above i'm going to create a private variable which is of type environment which is from the arg.springframework.core.env i'm going to call this env and i'm not going to create an object for this i will auto wire this environment so that the spring container will create an object for us at auto wired now env dot get property and before that we have to set a key the key which is driver so we need to import one more statement which is import static org dot hibernate dot cfg dot environment dot star this will gives us the driver for us and we have to read from the property file within the double quotes i'll copy this mysql dot driver don't write it just copy and paste it i'll copy this line and i'll paste it now we have to set the we're going to create some white space i'll set the hibernate properties setting hibernate properties now we are going to set the c3p0 properties which is a connection pooling properties setting c3p0 properties now we have to set this properties to the factory bean factory bean dot set hibernate properties and i'll pass the props and next factory bean dot set packages as i said before the tables will created by hibernate so we have to tell hibernate that which is the package that has to scan in this case com dot bushan sirgur dot spring dot model so the model package will holds the model classes so by scanning those model package classes the hibernate will create a tables for us so finally we are going to return factory bean and i'll remove these white spaces now we have to create a one more bean which is a hibernate transaction manager public hibernate transaction manager get i'm going to call this get transaction manager as i said before this is importing from the hibernate 3 so we have to change this to hibernate 5 i'm going to annotate this with add bean inside this i'm going to create a object for hibernate transaction manager hibernate transaction manager i'm going to call this transaction manager transaction manager dot set the session factory i'll call the get session factory that we have created above and i'm going to call get object method and finally we are going to return transaction manager
that's it this is all about the app config file so inside the app config we have created two beans which is a local session factory bean and hibernate transaction manager inside the local session factory bean we have read the properties from the property file and we set that properties to the local session factory bean and we will return the factory bean or the local session factory bean and inside the hibernate transaction manager we have set the session factory and we will return the transaction manager which is hibernate transaction manager but we have not yet done the configuration we have configured only one class we have to create two more classes that we are going to do in the next video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video